All right, guys. Hello. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I know there's a plethora of stuff going on right now, but um, I didn't realize I had received my package from CD Japan in like March, March second. Uh, obviously, while I was in Japan, but um, I didn't know it had been delivered. Delivered because my, my parents didn't tell me it was delivered, and then I just checked the website and it said it was delivered. And I called them and found out it was, and then I found the box. So. But probably a good thing I found it now because I've been super busy and it probably would have been overwhelming to have had to have done this too right when I got back. But as it stands, this one is a huge package. I know I've been telling you guys I was getting a huge package in the mail. Um, so yeah, so let's just jump right into it and uh, we'll see what I got. I don't remember what I got, I just know I got a lot. A lot, 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 lot. So first up is, uh, what is this? Cute? Is this the album? Oh, it is. I didn't know I finally ordered this. I'm almost completely caught up. What is it? Is there six? Uh, I don't know. Seventh. Seventh album. So I'm almost caught up. I believe Queen of J-Pop is the eighth, which is the last one I'm missing. So, um... So, yeah, so that means I'll finally have all berries, all morning musume, and all cute. All that means then is I need to move on and get, um, get, oh, there's a backside, by the way. Get, uh, move on to Smilage slash Anjun move, which shouldn't be too bad. They only have, like, two or three albums. But I'm, I'm getting there, getting all of my Hello Project stuff, finally. Uh, all the CDs and albums and everything or at least singles collections or something to make sure I have all their music So there's the first page And uh, I kind of like the theme actually a little like uh, American diner style kind of like uh, What is this? This is 50s I guess type of type of theme It's cute. Here's Aidi there is that's my right yeah there's my buried in popcorn there is the group and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing this one I've heard good things about this album actually as you know I wasn't too excited about the sixth one um, Chisato she's my Oshi in the group um, but We'll see what happens. There is Saki. She's another one of my favorites in the group. And of course, leader San, Maimi, who is now Hello Project leader. Nothing cool on the back. So I do look forward. I have a lot of music I'm going to be listening to soon. And I'm, I'm actually working on editing my uh, one of my videos. It's a long one uh, today to hopefully have it up by Wednesday. Um, and I'll have blog posts up as well. So expect a lot of stuff to, to, be, to be coming in, a lot of stuff to be uploaded in the next week. Uh, this week is just going to be mostly about my Japan trip. Next week is going to be totally dedicated to Barry's Kobo, so you can look forward to that. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to approach it yet, but that's what it's going to be. And then I got this, I don't know if you can see, yeah it's not going to be, you can't really see it in the camera. But it's a wristband, the Sayumi wristband from uh, from her graduation concert, it says uh, Sayumi Michishige graduation uh, 2014 11 26, uh, Yokohama Arena. And then in the inside, uh, I can't read all the kanji. What is it? Te atte kure te arigato, kakusan no. I can't read that kanji. Oku wa kure te honto ni arigato. So, that's cool. I just wanted to get this. They were selling out of CG, CD Japan, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, I, I want it. it. It would be nice to have to my collection um, of wristbands. I have I have three. I have a Destiny, a Baby Metal, and then a, a fan-made Morning Musume one. So, okay. So, moving on. So, next up, I believe this is, yeah, this is Anjurumu. Um, for those of you that have been keeping up with my newish videos, I have been totally impressed with them. Uh, with their new restart. There's the, the front cover of one of them that I got. Totally, totally, oh, I love the outfits by the way. 
totally impressed with them, and I was so impressed. I've never bought a Smilage. Actually, that's not true. I got I got uh, Eka at release, and actually, yeah, that was it actually. But that being said, I've not really invested much time into Smilage. But when they restarted as Anjinmu, I, I gotta say they totally blew me away, and and I got this right off the bat. Kind of regret not having gotten the box set, but it's probably better that I didn't. Because uh, if I did, I wouldn't have been able to uh, afford Japan. Well, I would have been able to, but that's that's fun. So I would have been away from goods that I could buy while I was over there. So there's the backside. Uh, that's the Taiki Bansei uh, outfits, which I heard on the radio many times while I was in Japan. Oh my god! <laughs> and my photo, I ended up getting my favorite. That is awesome. That, that actually makes me really happy. I have some pretty decent luck with this, actually. I shouldn't complain too much. That's, that's pretty good. Granted, I probably would have been happy with most of the members, but I mean, the fact that I got my favorite, that's nice. So then I got the limited edition. I believe this is a limited edition of the, of the uh, one that has a music video for... Um, Otome no Gyakushu. Um... I really liked that music video. Uh, don't get me wrong, I actually did like the Taiki Bansei one too. But I just... I really think the, the Otome no Gyakushu was just a really, really well done overall in, in every way. So... I had to get it. And um, there's a back side. Once again, Taiki Bansei outfits on the back and on the front was of course Otome no Gyakushu. Okay, focus, focus. Okay, focused. So there's there's the backside. Um, lottery ticket that ended February 16. Too bad if I had bought this at launch, I probably could have taken the ticket. Actually, I wasn't even in Japan at the time anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. But. I didn't get to do any of the checkies or anything cool like that. I left like the day before all of that was happening, which is which is a little bit of a disappointment, I won't lie, but I did get to do a lot while I was over there, so I shouldn't complain too much. Um, and plus I got to go to a Lavender concert, which I didn't expect would happen. So next up is, uh, oh nice, it has a different cover too, is Sayumi's Graduation Concert, Give Me More Love. Uh, I'm very curious curious to see how the... There's a back sign. Um, I'm very curious to see how the actual recording ended up being because I watched a live stream with all the mistakes with, with her falling down and crying, with her getting injured, all of that. Um, I know... I know from a professional standpoint it's probably not a good thing to keep that in but honestly, for me... It felt like that was part of what made the concert unique. The fact that even amongst all of that stuff that happened to her, she kept going with all of her might and all of her, her willpower, and that was very impressive. Nothing cool inside, just a disc, of course, as usual. Um, that was very impressive, so I really hope they preserved all of that. I guess we'll find out. And then here is... Oh, I didn't realize this was... Uh, Barry's Professional, um, as you know, if you've been watching also, the only other concert I have is Real Berries. it's up there somewhere, um, and this is their next one, and of course I will be getting the last one as well since I did attend, um, but I mean I actually did like Real Berries, so I'm kind of looking forward to this one, um, I didn't used to like the performances, but I don't know, something about it has made me like it more lately, so, and this is before the graduation, the graduation one, or the... The hiatus one was extremely impressive um, but anyways more on that later uh, same as usual nothing cool just just a disc so I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff to go through a lot of things to keep me entertained for the next few days or so um, and I, yeah it's, I, I'm, I don't really have much to complain about in that regard it's, it's gonna be awesome not to mention I'm still playing Dragon Age there's just a lot of cool stuff going on some of the stuff I wish I had known I was going to Japan because I wouldn't have ordered this stuff. I could have just bought it while I was over there for, for cheaper, but... Um, Michishige Camera, 
number two. This is her second one and our, technically her final one. I'll, if you guys remember, I was saying I would hope that they would do another one. And lo and behold, it, she did. Thank goodness. And this one's based, around, I'm assuming, around the graduation concert. I'll show you a few things that are in here. There's a, some, a, lot of, a lot of photos in there. There's that. Polly from Allo, hello. Okay. And uh, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, <laughs> from the New York, uh, from the New York live. That's cool. And then here's this. This is gonna be fun to go through. I really liked the first one she did, so this is gonna be cool. Ah, uh, and this is beautiful. Whole place went pink. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, so if you liked what you saw, then buy it. I could have sworn it said it came with the photo. Anyways, I'll look into that later. Uh, where to put this? Okay, so next up is... I don't even know what this is. I bought it because it was Sayumi related. Um, I guess, I'm assuming this is just a... Is this a photo book or is this something else? Here, I'm gonna open it right now so we can see. I think... It's like interviews and stuff of the members, but I could be wrong, and if it is that, then that means I'm not going to be able to read it for a while. But honestly, now that I've got so much more confidence in my speaking ability of Japanese, I am going to start trying to read stuff. So if that means it's going to take me like a day to read a page because I have to translate every single kanji, so be it. That's what I'm going to do. And you know what? I'm, I'm okay with that because you know what? I'm never gonna learn how to read all these kanji if I don't start actually practicing. So, um, let's see. So I'll just show you a few pages. There's Sakura with some text. It looks like a yeah. It probably is like interviews, info, and quotes and things like that. It's kind of cool. Here's a Machan. Oh, nice. Riho. And, uh, skip to one at the end. Here we go. New leader with old leader. Nice. So, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. I'll, I'll enjoy looking through this, too. Like I said, a lot of cool stuff to go through. Alright, next up, um... Oh god, what is going on here? Okay. And honestly, I'm just not going to even edit this one, this video, because uh, I'm pretty much rushing through it anyways. So, I got... Whoa, what is going on here? I got this UTV book. I don't... Oh, that's why. More than we see one for is featured in it. Um... I don't recognize a kanji for all the other names, so I don't know who else is in here. But I'm gonna do a quick flip through. I'm not recognizing anybody. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't recognize anybody. So it's probably I just got it because Morning with Sumo One Pro was featured. And there's something inside. Oh. Instead of like, I guess like mini posters you could rip out and, and uh, put up. Spectre special pictorial is what it's called. So I'll, I'll look at this later. I'm not sure exactly what is in it. Uh, once I started collecting the magazines, that was probably a bad idea on my part. But it's too late. I've already started. So every time I see a magazine that, that every time I'm aware of a magazine that features them, I'm probably gonna buy them. Buy it. But, you know, I really hate opening the plastic on these books, just so you know. And I was there for this, too. So I could have... If I had bought this at every concert I went to, I would have gotten a special photo for each one. But, you know what? While I do kind of regret not buying it multiple times, 
I don't know what I would do with all the extra copies, and it would have been a lot of money. Actually, it wouldn't have been too much. It would have been like two, four, six, eight thousand yen. Uh, too bad, because I'd sell the rest anyways. But yeah, their final, their final book. Um, oh, oh, okay. So I got a picture of you now. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. As you all know, Risako is my favorite, but I love all of them, so I won't complain. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Captain in her little monkey outfit. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's see what else we got. This is gonna be fun to go through. There's Masa. There's Gorgeous Giant. I like to call her because she is super tall. Even by American standards, she's pretty tall. Oh, and there's some info on all the singles that was that were that were released. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this will be fun to go through. And it's funny because I've never really bought too much fairy stuff. Like I love their music. It's very very important to me. But I just always stuck to just getting Morning Musume goods just because I money is hard. I didn't want to go through all of them. But man, I bought a lot of berry stuff while I was over there. So, here's all the special stuff. Um, I got the clear file for buying. I'm sure oops, I'm sure you already know what it is. Obviously, the completion box. The complete box. Final completion box. Uh, here, let me... So, the back side's kind of lame, but the front's cool. Um, it's nice that I got two. That means I can use one and still preserve one. And the other bonus I got was an Anjurumu postcard. And it is from Otome no Gyakushu, which makes me really happy because those, that fits I like better. Um, yeah, so I'll add that to my collection for sure. And the final thing I got, or things, is, in my opinion, the most important out of all of this. Is the final completion box. This is a CD version, the normal edition. Or six disc, wow. It looks like it has every single single that they have released. Um, oh, and there's some stuff that hasn't been re released and some new recordings. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. That's really cool. Oh, and it's all the B-sides too. This is obnoxious. Is it B-sides? It looks like it. Momochi, Yurush, Tenyan, that was a B-side. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So let's open it up. Do I want to open both of them up? Here, let me show you what the other one is. Okay. The other one is a final completion box with the Blu-ray. Uh, I believe it came. Uh, both of them came with exclusive songs, some exclusive songs. That's why I got both versions. So three CDs. This was three CDs. Yeah, yeah, it did. So if you got the standard edition, it came with uh, six discs of music. Uh, the first three are all of their singles, and then uh, it looks like disc 4 and disc 5 are the B-sides. All the B-sides, and then disc 6 is bonus discs with all the special new songs and stuff like that. Um, and then this one, the Blu-ray edition, only came with three discs of all the singles, and then it looks like a Blu-ray disc with, wow. with every uh, music video. Um, and then another disc, Blu-ray disc, with a bunch of like dance shots and some other special stuff. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. So what that means, ultimately, after this long-winded explanation, is that I have to open both of them. <laughs> because I want all of this music. So, let's start with the standard completion box. So disc 1 and 2, there's a cover for it. Nice, simple, cute. 
I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Uh, the discs look stupid. Plain. Oh, they're actually kind of... You probably can't see them, but they're, they're kind of shiny. They have like a little, like, kind of like a metallic glitter to it, which is kind of cool. Uh, the insert, nothing cool. Actually, yeah, it's literally nothing. It's just backside. So, let's check the disc three and four. Very beautiful outfits. I love these ones. Um, backside is nothing. Same thing, insert is just there. Discs look the same. And disc five and six. I'm all sitting down. I actually got a bunch of photos of, of Risako in this outfit, actually. Uh, there we go. That should be easy to see. And inside, same thing. Nothing cool. Uh, oh my god. And then a song booklet. So it has the lyrics to every single song in the... In this thing. In this collection. And, um... It has all the info on all the individual singles as well, releases, and what was included in each single release. Um, yeah, so this is this is really cool. No photos in here or anything like that, but I mean it's 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 a really thick booklet. I mean look at it, all of these songs. So that's gonna be fun. So I, like I said, I'm gonna be listening to a lot of Barry soon in the next week or two. Okay, and then let's open the other one. I kind of wish I had bought multiple copies of this, and in fact, with my order I'm going to do of Morning Musume's newest single, I might order another one of this, just so I can have one unopened for my own collection. This is very special to me, Berries is very special to me, um, and I would like to do that, so. Okay, Woo! what is in here? Alright, so let's start with this. Oh my god, okay. So there's Momochi. There's Risako. There is Yurina and Miyaki. And there is uh, Masa and Chinami. And last but definitely not least is Captain. So obviously as you can see while I'm showing all the pictures, all the discs are in here with like pictures of all the singles, which is cool. Uh, here, let me show you exactly what it looks like. So as you can see, like, yeah, all of the pictures of the singles are just on the background. That's really cool. So, that's that. Are these all uh, the Blu-rays? Yeah, Blu-rays, Blu-rays. Yeah, all of this. So the Blu-rays and the music CDs are all here. All right, and then we have a song booklet again. It's larger size, well, like you know, it's, uh, taller. So because of that, it's not as thick, but it's still thick. And then, uh, oh, a ticket for January twenty sixth. Is that really when this released? Though another useless one I can't use, unfortunately. But yeah, so all of the lyrics. All of the lyrics to all of the songs are the same thing, all of the single information at the end. No pictures or anything like that, but... But, oh, it did actually come with a special photo booklet. So... A bunch of cool little photos of them all in these, the outfits on the cover of this Final Completion box. So... Very nice. So that's... that's... That's it! I say that like it's very little, it's like a 30 minute video almost. Uh, but yeah, so that's my biggest order I've ever done. Uh, so forgive it for being long, I moved along as fast as possible. Look forward to more stuff coming up soon. Um, and yeah, my next orders are probably not going to be as big because I'm a little tight for cash thanks to the Japan trip. But it was worth it. It was worth every single penny, it was worth every moment. I do not regret anything. Um, so look forward to it, a lot of cool videos and things coming up soon. Thank you for watching guys and um, if you enjoy the stuff subscribe of course if you don't don't that's cool I know unboxings can be very boring for some people and which is mainly what I do on here and uh, also you know I don't mention this very often but if you want to buy these goods I recommend two things 
I recommend CD Japan because their customer support is really good. If you don't want to deal with the go-between and you don't really care about supporting the numbers part of the orders in order for like rankings, then get it from them. They have a cool little points reward system where you can get a little bit back and uh, they deliver very safely. Everything's always packaged nicely. I've never had a problem. Everything arrives very promptly. I usually get it release day or either the day before release day or the day of. So since, you know, here in America, we're, we're behind in time compared to Japan. So, um, so I do recommend ordering from them if you want goods. Or, if you don't, if you do want to support uh, the numbers, the actual numbers, I recommend third-party people that do it. Personally, I recommend No Country for Tall Men. Um, Michael is amazing. He is very easy to work with and he'll get you anything you need, Hella Project related, which is really nice. Um, and you're supporting the numbers and oftentimes you can get special things like box sets of CDs and things like that that you can't normally get from just ordering from CD Japan. Uh, because he'll do orders from from multitude of places including Amazon Japan and whatnot. So take advantage of it. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you today. Enjoy guys and I'll see you around. And uh, don't forget, Berries will always be in our hearts. They'll never be gone. Take care.